welcome to Horror Hacks, the most outrageous films that you're probably never going to see in theaters anytime soon. I'm Phil Haney and today's featured flick is called Human Centinado. It's a tornado of human centipedes. Oh no! This flick is basically a rip-off, you know, direct to Netflix creature feature, sponging off the popularity, obviously, of the human centipede and Sharknado. You're gonna love it because it's awesome. I mean, it's got something for everyone. Who wouldn't want to see a destructively powerful tornado make landfall full of tortured kidnapping victims with their faces sewn ass to mouth? I mean, I'm guessing everyone, right? So you're probably wondering how the science behind a human centinado works. And that's where you should probably just stop. Because watching human centinado is like reading a science textbook from Kansas. You know it's like completely wrong, but you just go with it because looking at pictures of people riding dinosaurs is awesome. Okay, so the really detailed and thought out plot follows a crazy German doctor named Dr. Lehmer, who has dreamed of not only creating human centipedes by sewing people's faces ass to mouth, but, but actually creating a biological human centipede that can reproduce itself. He thinks like if he introduces human centipedes into like the town's water supply, that their DNA will get in the water and pretty soon like women will start giving birth to like actual fully grown form human centipedes you know with like no surgery involved like they're just born like a human centipede like a new creature i mean again like even politicians in texas are like wow the science on this is a little off so i mean long story short dr lemur kidnaps like a hundred people and he makes like 20 hcs hcs as the kids call them that's uh, short for human centipede so dr lemur makes like 20 hcs in his abandoned warehouse where do they always get the warehouses from that's what i don't understand so he makes 20 hcs in his abandoned warehouse and he drives them out to the aqueduct where all the city's water comes from and he dumps them in there and he's like be free and swim my little centipede centipede be free and swim my little centipede and so you know they do and they're swimming around paddling it's really tough to swim like when you're a human centipede you have to do the human centipede battle but here's the thing that uh, dr lemur didn't plan on that same day there is a huge storm headed right for the city oh no and it's picking up speed and like pretty soon it's a tornado i mean he really should have checked on like weather.com for updates on the weather i mean always plan ahead so the tornado hits the town and wouldn't you know that it goes right for the aqueduct, like right where the human centipedes are like, you know, swimming around, like, you know, splashing, like, what's up, I'm human centipede. And pretty soon it sweeps up all the human centipedes. And now the human centipedes are flying around through the air. Oh no. So Dr. Lemur is pissed because remember, he wants them to, the DNA to go into the water supply. And if all the human centipedes are out there flying around, then their DNA isn't going to go into the water supply. So his whole plan is like totally screwed. And I mean, here's the thing. I don't know if you've ever actually been part of a human centipede, but it's terrible. So the people in the human centipedes are like pissed, right? And they want to just like take out their anger on a world that's wrong. I'm like, oh, like Dr. Lemur, I don't want to be a human centipede. Actually, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> so, and like when they get the chance, they're flying around and they start like biting other people's faces off, right? Like they're coming out of a tornado and just going, ha, ha, ha. It's like human centipedes on bath salts. And so like we see lots of carnage and like, you know, not only tornado destruction, but human centipedes flying through the air and like biting people's asses off. It's crazy. And you know, like Dr. Lemur sees this and he's like, wow, this, this isn't what I wanted. When I captured all those people and tortured them and sewed their faces ass to mouth in my abandoned warehouse I didn't I didn't want this I have a moral obligation like I've got to do something I've got to stop this so this he actually did plan ahead and he takes out his self-destruct button and then that's connected to a computer chip that he put in the heads of all the human centipedes uh, and he hits he's like all right burp, and they explode and to top it off, the hot air from the explosion, apparently this is a thing, the hot air from the explosion uh, stops the tornado. And everybody hails Dr. Lemur as a hero. And that's the end. So yeah, the human centinado. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the Zomborg. <laughs>